It was the single purest one-on-one -on -one midfield battle that I can ever recall seeing. It was an absolute battle of that contested possession. Two beasts around the ball. It was like uh, the quintessential 15 round boxing match. Those two were so far ahead of everyone. In fact, their battle virtually transcended the game itself. It became the most watched contest, yeah. and the game almost took a backseat to what was happening between those two. He's just in the moment. There's no surreal. You don't think about what's going on. He's doing it. similar position that Patrick Dangerfield finds himself in this evening that you were this time last year. Is it difficult to be the hot favourite? You have all this expectation and pressure and you don't want to let anyone down, but at the same time, it's nice to be able to come to one of these events after having a year like he's had. The hype around him was enormous and I sort of felt like I had a bit of a connection there because I, I knew what he was going through and how awesome it was, but how much pressure he would have been under. Geelong, P Dangerfield, three votes. Ultimately, he followed a very similar narrative to what I did the year before, you know, heartbreaking loss in the prelim. P. Dangerfield, three votes. Backstage. I was backstage and I took a little video on my phone. It's Mike Fitzpatrick in front of me and I'm like filming the medal and filming Mike and then filming Danger, getting up out of his seat, walking up. And I the winner of the 2016 Brownlow medal, Patrick Dangerfield of the Geelong Football Club. He just take the motivation out of it. It's like physically giving something over to someone else. It's like, OK, what can I use out of that to be able to help me for next year and help me for next pre-season? I do have to admit, I do like the spice of a rivalry with Patrick. And I watched it with jealousy last year, the way that he went about his footy, and I'm, I'm pretty keen to renew acquaintances. He goes all right, I'm assuming. Nathan, I think he is. Yeah. 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 I oh, know he's going to be coming again. I know oh, he's somewhere in the world training as well. So, I mean, have a look at the the quality of blokes we've got on display here tonight. Five Sanderlands, Ballantyne, Walters, Pavlich, Hill, Walker, Dangerfield. Well, it was a pretty special game being at Adelaide Oval. You know, 50,000 screaming crows fans against us. The so Fife and Dangerfield together at this stoppage. Yeah, it's a good head to head. That was sick. Like, I, we didn't plan that because I'm not supposed to really go head to head with anyone because I'm not known for my accountability. <laughs> and Dangerfield had just loved the opportunity to have a good crack in tonight. He kept coming to me, and I, the more he came to me, the more I wanted to go to him. Dangerfield takes off. He was bullying me a bit around the stop, he was like pushing me off and getting into me and as soon as he did that I started to really arc up and want to have a go at him and as soon as I did that to him he came back at me. Zuma, break free. Here he is on Q5. Top of the square, Dangerfield one on one. Danger got rid of Johnson, back in the pack. Yeah, even though you're in the midst of playing the game, it's, you do admire it, um, what's happening on the field. So to see the two of them you know, bashing heads and, and clashing and winning that contestant for you, was, uh, it was pretty impressive. and that challenge and as much as I'm invested I'm still a fan of the game as well and to be able to be a part of that was awesome.